Okay, so this video is for Mr. Joel uh, and, and figuring out what the hell these graphs mean. This is his printer. So what does, everyone kind of knows what this one means, right? It's, you can see it. What does this one mean? So this is the, the cross-belt comparison aspect. And what we're seeing here, let me get, let's choose, we'll go with red. We see here that the frequencies are the same. But the amplitudes obviously are different, right? There's, there, you going from here to here. And what do we see? Well, if we take one divided by the other, we're here on this side. So let's say this is reversed, right? So let's say instead of beta two, let's say this is beta one, or beta two up here, and this is beta one here. He's uh, Fricks is using betas and all the Greek letters because A's and B's he was using before. People would get confused. So instead of being over here, it's no longer going to be over here. Um, it'll do something like this. Right? It'll be over here. Boop, 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 boop. And this will be your beta 1. I can't do that real good. Beta 1 divided by beta 2. Okay, so all it, all it's all this is telling you right here is basically the same thing that's telling you here. If you're down here, that means your beta 1 is greater than beta 2. So what would you do? Well... You tighten this guy up, you, you would probably tighten up the uh, A belt here. All right, we got A and we got B. You tighten up A belt uh, and see where it goes. But you got this happen. So you have two things happening. You have this difference here, but you also have this. So what this is saying is that this hot belt, the tension in this frequency range here, A belt is higher and B belt is lower. But B belt up here is higher and A is lower. So if you tighten A, generally what happens is your frequency goes up, or your, I'm sorry, your amplitude goes up, but your frequency goes over if you tighten it. So this is tight, tight, tighter, right? And if you loosen it, generally what happens is it goes down and it goes over here, right? So this is loose, loosen it. Right, you get this divide. But in this situation here, we're comparing the two belts. Chances are A may be too loose, and that's why this is up here, based on this one. Conversely, what can happen a lot of times is A is too tight, and you're getting this extra stuff, and B is too loose. So if you actually tighten B up, what will happen is this will go up too. It's it's a it's tricky. And it sucks because you're, you're you're doing one or the other. What I would do here first is the obvious one, and I would tighten A. So I would tighten A, Oop. tighten A, and see where it goes. All right? See if this guy if this guy starts inching up, you know, and it may only get to here, right? It may only get, which is fine. It'll bring this guy in a little bit. You may not get into the runway, right? Your flight path little flight path here you may not get into that but it will bring it up a bit you want this guy here you want all of this to go down so I would start with tightening a now what can happen is you'll see these peaks go higher well that means that a already was too tight way over here so you would loosen a and hopefully what will happen is this will go up and these will go down so it's it's Nothing here is kind of set in stone because we're playing with two belts. We're playing with two coupled belts, right? Let's see if I can grab a picture of that. Boop. Can we blow this up? How do I make it bigger? Resize image. Uh, percentage. 150. Save. Can we make it bigger? Oh, we don't want to do that. Okay, we're going to cancel. Oh, there it is, right down there. Ha! Huh? Okay, so your belts, as we know, are coupled here at the XY joints. So you can see that this pushes on this one here, and this one pushes this way. So when you tighten this thing, this belt on your A belt, this one's going to go further back because it's going to pull on this pulley, and this one's going to come forward. Well, exact opposite happens on the B belt. It's going to pull on this one because the B belt goes this way. It's going to pull this side forward, and this side backward. 
That's why it's critical to have all your belts the same length, the same number of teeth on each side, right? And making sure that you're turning the exact same because this is where they're coupled here. And if we look back here, it could have an effect that I pull this guy tighter and these ones go up higher. So this is the reason why it's kind of trial and error and no one can really say 100% oh do this with this because you've got some coupling effects potentially going on. But this this is this. So this is um, how to interpret this part. There's another one. Uh, don't save. We're going to do it again. Bring it back. Let me get my notes. Do, 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 do. Where are my notes? There we are. Okay, so you can have another effect where, let's say, beta, is no, beta 2 is no longer here. Beta 1 comes up, and it's just, it's off on both. Okay, so this now is beta 2. They're right next to each other. And this data is coming from DeBrian. Uh, he just posted this graph. So what you're going to happen is you're going to get a weird graph. You're going to get this. This is no longer this. This will be beta 1 here. Oh, beta 1. This will be beta 2. And it will do something like this. So if you've got the betas all over the place, right, or your alphas or whatever, it doesn't matter what the letters, but if you've got them separated like this, this is saying not only are you separated in, we'll say the frequency now is, let's say it's 13 hertz, or 13 hertz, say 13 hertz. All right, there's a frequency difference, and there's an amplitude difference. This is telling you your frequency diff difference, right? So for this point, at this, at this juncture, this is too great. You want these guys to really be on the same, like it previously was, you want the same point. Which is why, if you had to choose frequency versus amplitude, right? You always choose frequency. You want these, because these belts now are not vibrating. at the, They don't have the same resonant frequency, right? So you have a resonant frequency, say, here, and the other one, say, here, right? That's different. What you want is you you really want them all in the same frequency, just one main one. So if you have to choose the peaks, or you have to choose the amplitude or frequency, choose frequency. So let's go. So this is what's going to happen if you've got amplitude and frequency difference. They're going to split. Don't save it. So if we look here, the issue, potential issue we have is we have this. And we have this junk down here, all right? At this point, and you're you're the but the points are matching over here, which is, means our frequency delta is zero. I would run input shaper to see where we're at. A and this may not be a big deal, right? Your your graphs may come back, your input shapers may come back looking like this, right? And it's fine. So this but this could also be something with your with your belts maybe what you did was if we go back to this guy maybe you turn turn this guy you know half turn too much or half turn too much here one of the two right uh, so this is not giving this is kind of giving you you're good enough to move on move on to input shaper and i wouldn't put too much behind it uh, as far as troubleshooting more without knowing what input shaper says so that's, that's my advice, and this is for Joel and for everyone else that has the same problems. All right, have a good one.